to cause Oi Oh Welcome to Summer Street. It's a famous old venue playing host tonight to two famous old Victorian clubs. It is Melbourne Knights hosting Heidelberg United, the Knights and the Burgers. And whether it's in the NPL, the NSL, the Australia Cup, the Doherty Cup, these two teams have met many, many times over the years, shared many players and also provided more than their fair share of entertainment. And we hope tonight's game, which will kick off round nine in the NPL, will certainly live up to that record and provide plenty of goals and entertainment. Certainly their recent exploits would suggest as much. Certainly Heidelberg, who come off a big win last week, 6-0 over St Albans, who probably sacked their coach in the aftermath. But the big news in the lead-up to this game is that the man who scored half those goals, the hat-trick scorer Kane Shepherd, is out of the Burgers lineup for tonight. He is not in the team. We're not exactly sure why, but you can bet your bottom dollar that Knights will be very happy to see him not on the team sheet. Let's go through the sides quickly before we get underway here at Knights Stadium. Sosa starts in goal for Heidelberg. Ben Collins, the former Knight at the back. Ali Jamal, Aidan Fedahadzic, Anthony Lesiotis, Leo Matsis, Dion Nicolaitis, Josh Pin up top, Sean Ellis, uh, Sharif Mohammed Idara and Nicholas Olsen is the 11 for the Burgers, whilst for the Knights, Ben Carrigan, Corey Sewell, Evan Frandich, the skipper, Mitch Hoare, Steve White, Kieran Bramwell, Chris Oldfield in goal, Jack Morton in midfield, Thomas Werndall, Saif Edin Suckel and Tommy Semi. So that's the starting lineup here for both teams. Knights in eighth. Whilst Heidelberg in fourth. Heidelberg undefeated so far this season. Knights have lost three times, but they come off a win last time out against Manningham United 2-1. So both teams in good form. And both will fancy three points here tonight on this Friday night in the NPL. Adam Babcar gets us underway. And we are underway here at Summers Street. Week nine of the competition underway. One of three games being played tonight. Knights in the red, of course. Heidelberg in the yellow, their traditional uniforms. The Burgers going towards the left of your screen. The Knights towards the right. Here's Tommy Semi getting involved early on. Former Altonic, uh, Tona Magic hitman. He's made a pretty seamless transition up... Williamstown Road to Summer Street. Here's Feta Hadjic at the back, one of the mainstays for the Burgers. We'll be keeping a close eye on Temi Simi. Collins. One of the few players out there who's changed lineups. Ben Collins was of this parish as, as of last season, but he's become a mainstay at the Burgers' defence instead. And we have an early throw here. Spattering of fans in the Mark Viduka stand or below the Mark Viduka lounge. Pretty good line-up here. I was in the beer garden beforehand, just doing some preparation, of course, and very convivial atmosphere there was too. Hopefully the punters are entertained by the football on show here tonight. Not much to speak of in these opening 60 seconds or so. Here's Frangic against his old club, the former Socceroo. Up through the middle. The very old ping pong. Sending it back the other way was Nicolades. You know, it's helped on by White. He's been terrific this season for Knights in midfield. And here he is again. And he's brought down. Flag was up by the linesman anyway, but White... Not sure who caught him there. Well, we know now because it's a yellow card to Anthony Lesiotis. So he goes in the book after less than two minutes. And Steve White gets up a bit gingerly. So Frenich with the free kick right on halfway. Here we go, 
goes backwards to his partner in crime, Carrigan. Pushing up pretty high here, Knights early on. That's a long punt by Frangic. Nothing doing though. Comes down to Sewell. Frangic again, now White who's shook off that knock. Suckle on the near side. This is dangerous, a decent ball across. Jamal was there to hell it, head it away though. Now Ellis, who's back in the starting lineup for Heidelberg. The ball down the line by Pin, who's got extra responsibilities tonight with Kane Shepard out. And it's a pretty obvious foul against Sean Ellis, who is following up. Scotsman, who's often been on the bench so far this season, but in the starting lineup tonight, he might be the direct replacement for Kane Shepard. Different type of player, of course, but looks as though Olsen, who is not only a bit of a doppelganger for Sean Ellis, but also plays in a similar position, looks like he might have moved up top alongside Pin. Goal kick here for Chris Oldfield. His bald head glistening in the floodlights. The veteran. And he gets us underway again. On the grandstand side is Semi. Intervention there by Ali. It's Adara now. Yeah, Mats has flicked it on one of the scorers from last week, and here is Olsen. He's got Mats' riding shotgun. First real foray forward for the visitors. Doesn't come to anything. He's dispossessed there, Mats', but he does well to close down the attempted clearance, and it's out of play for a throw. Showing out of play there off Kieran Bramwell. Also a scorer last week. Top scorer this season for the Knights. No Gianni Albano in the starting lineup for Melbourne Knights either. The top scorer from last season. Not a bad option to come off the bench though. It's the Burgers who are moving forward here and it's Pin bustling forward the big Queenslander. Out towards Matsis. That's a great ball in. And Ellis was coming in at the far post. Didn't quite get there in time. But that's an early reminder, if they need one, for the Knights' defence that this Heidelberg side really pack a punch. They landed six of the best on Dynamo last weekend. And Knights will know they need to be very tight at the back, otherwise they could ship a few as well. Kane Shepherd or no Kane Shepherd. Matsis does well wrestling with the, sorry, it's Nicolaitis rather, with the bigger man. It looks like he's come off second best. Nicolaitis in doing so, he's lying on his back. Right below us here on the far side of Knights Stadium. He's up now, Leo Matsis. Nicolaitis rather, I don't know why I'm getting those two mixed up. Been a handy addition to the side this season, Dion Nicolaitis under John Anastasiadis, one of the players who has become a regular in the starting lineup. Here's Olsen. And now Matsis to the byline. Another good ball in and a flashing effort there by Pin. And that goes high into the night sky. Almost lands on the beer garden here. At Summers Street. That would have been some goal had he uh, got that on target. Josh Pin. Instead he spooned it way over the top. He's the top, the top scorer out there. In fact, he's the top scorer from either side out on the field tonight with five. Including a double last week in that 6-0 win. Matsis got one and Kane Shepard got the other three. Here come Knights, and it's Semi down the grandstand side. And he gets inside the defender, Semi. Now he pulls the trigger. Straight at Johan Sosa, though. 
Tommy Semi just uh, reminding the Heidelberg defence that he's more than capable as well. First real shot on target for either team tonight. Was straight at the keeper, but got some power behind it, the Papua New Guinean. It's a sprightly opening stanza here between these two sides. Oh, Dara, nice footwork. Has to go all the way back to the number one, though. Tassiata says his hands outstretched. He can't believe there wasn't a foul given there by Adam Bavkar. But the referees allowed play to go on, and now it's Oldfield with a booming clearance straight up the middle of Knight Stadium. Sloppy ball there by Sewell, just giving it away. And here's Feta Hadjic. Cool under pressure at the back, as he has been for many years now. Adam Feta Hadjic. Quite a big players, it certainly has remained a mainstay of this team. And the change from Katsakis to Anastasiadis as they try and break forward here. The Burgers doesn't work out, but they win back again in midfield. And now here's Matsis down the flanks, who's caused issues already. Now he's drifting inboard. Olsen making a run, gets onto the loose ball. He's still going. Olsen twisting, turning, trying to get the ball across the box. Oldfield at the near post directs it out of play. Corey Sewell was uh, getting twisted up there by Matsis and Olsen and was lucky not to give away a foul or a penalty as it would have been. But instead he and his fellow defenders have to face a corner. The first of the evening. Almost 10 minutes played. Still nil-nil between the Burgers and the Knights. Matsis with the corner. It's a deep one, a bit too deep, and it's flicked away there by Carrigan. Didn't quite clear, though. Well, that's a potentially a risky ball right across his own box. It turns out okay, though. Suckle has got it. Put the socks down, and now he sends a long crossfield ball. They've gone all the way at the pitch in just two kicks here, the Knights. And it's Semi twisting, turning, trying to... Wriggle his way past Ali. Burgers do okay, though, to defuse the danger, but that's a sloppy ball straight out of play. And it's Sulu who has the throw. Just outside the attacking third here for Knights. Good open contest, this. Hope you're enjoying it so far on this Friday night on YouTube. As Suckle tries to send in the cross, it deflects into the path of Souza. That's easy pickings for the Burgers custodian. He's bright pink tonight. Certainly can't miss him. Chris Oldfield at the other end in uh, somewhat less conspicuous grey. Try and play it out from the back here, Heidelberg. They might have got themselves into a pickle. Feta Hadjic just chips it out wide to Nicolaitis. Beat one, not the second though. Now they've got problems. It's Hoare, Mitch Hoare. Ball doesn't come to much. They've got numbers forward, though, the Knights. Suckle with the cross in. It deflects towards Semi. He had the right idea. He got his head onto it, but couldn't really attack the goal on the full. Instead, it bounced into the palms of Souza. But that's the closest any side has come so far. Nicolaitis right on the touchline below us. And Suckle is having none of it. And a flick on there by Matsis. He's just got the faintest of touches. 
and he sets away Nicolaitis down the flank. There's yellow shirts coming forward, and the ball deflects into the area. It's a tricky one for Frangic. Here's Nicolaitis again. He's got White right on his hammer. Does well, White, to win the ball back, and then he gives away in the same movement, and here come the Burgers again. It's Olsen. Just was a bit rushed. Didn't settle himself, and never troubled Chris Oldfield in the Knights' goal. They're not going to die wondering these two teams, at least with their approach at the moment. Your fancy goals are not too far away in this one. Otterberg's ball from the goal kick. Nicolaitis has been busy, has it? Matsis has also been in the thick of the action. And the Burgers work it towards the grandstand side, but they've got a bit of space. Here's Ali. And his first touch just let him down a little bit, but there is Ellis in support, and he gets a tug of the shirt and goes down. Tommy Semi says no hard feelings. That's a throw for the Burgers. I have happy memories of this place, Heidelberg. Last time here, they won 5-0. Actually, I've got my wires crossed. They'll have terrible memories because they lost 5-0. They won the last meeting. <laughs> they lost 5-0 to the Ben Khan coach Knights. Different Knights team this one. How they defend here. Cross comes in and it's deflected away by Bramwell, deep in defence. He'll have more work to do as Olsen sends it in this time and Oldfield was in two minds and very nearly cost himself and his team there, the veteran keeper. That was one of those tricky balls. Uh, landed in no man's land and luckily for Chris Oldfield, it bounced the wrong side of the upright. And it stays nil-nil. Yes, it was Knights who won in this corresponding fixture here last season, 5-0. Not quite the same swashbuckling team so far this term. Melbourne Knights under Ben Shrury. And quite obviously Heidelberg are a very different proposition under John Anastasiadis to what they were in the late stages of George Katsakis' long reign as Ali goes skating down the flanks here. And Suckel is there to see it out of play. Or is it Werndl? Sorry, it is Thomas Werndl, the veteran defender. Put that straight over the touchline, the former Altona Magic captain. We'll have some more work to do as they have a throw here, the Burgers. Ellis. on the turn Olsen starting to get their rhythm going here Heidelberg they do knock the ball ar around as well as any team in the competition the Burgers They're starting to get their dander up a little here as we cross the quarter hour is Freda Hajic deep into Knights territory now towards Olsen he'll have a ping again just biting off a little more than he could chew there Nicholas Olsen down a bit for Knights They're quite direct a lot of long balls up the middle towards Tommy Semi doesn't really come off for them quite at the moment as Feta Hadjic gets into a tangle and gives away a pretty obvious foul it was Mitch Hoare who he was trying to rag dull there 
Now it's White. Sackle right below us. Carrigan. Pin forces him to go all the way back to Oldfield. Pin keeps running. Oldfield has to get rid of it quickly, and he does. Matt just can't quite keep that in play. It's a throw here for the Knights who try and catch Heidelberg out, but Nicolaitis was onto it. Saif Adin Sakal, who played in France last season with, uh, excuse my French pronunciation, Crota Lustiano. A long way from France to Summers Street. And Ellis might be in here. Coming out to meet it was Oldfield. Just got there in the nick of time, the veteran. Sean Ellis, his eyes lit up there. He thought he'd beaten the offside trap and he was going to score. Oldfield just denied him, but the Knights keeper might have some more work to do here as Matsis now on the edge of the area trying to wriggle his way past the defender. And it is the aforementioned Sackle who sees it out of play and concedes another corner, the second of the evening. Both have gone to Heidelberg. They're starting to take control of this game. They approach the 20 minute mark. Still scoreless, but looks like the visitors who are much, much more likely at this point. It'll be Ellis to take it this time. Low flat delivery cleared by the Knights' defence. Nicolaitis trying to reload. He gets rid of the Frenchman's circle, and here he goes again. Idara in midfield. Dara been a terrific pick up this season for Heidelberg. Ali. He and Semi going at it. That's a really good battle between those two. But it's the Burger who won that one. Comes back towards Tommy Semi though. He's a long way from home. And now he clatters into the back of Olsen. The referee says play on. Both players and supporters are a bit surprised by Adam Bavkar's decision there but he was a lot closer than we are and it's Nicolaitis down the channel Brandage and now bursting through midfielders Hoare, Mitch Hoare suddenly they've got a bit of room Knights, Hoare has to wheel around, wait for teammates to arrive and one of them does in the form of Sewell and nothing doing there from Corey Sewell things opened up for them ever so slightly there Knights but Mitch Hoare had to tread water a bit because he realised there was nothing else on around him and by the time the cavalry arrived the opportunity had slipped away Here's Collins. Against his old club. Extra pumped up because of that.
here's Semi with a long ball coming towards him into the area. He chases after it. Ali there with him again. Collins. Winning in midfield is White now for the Knights. Hoare. Trying to string some passes together and it might turn out okay. Here's Bramwell. Across the face of goal. Caught in two minds. It was neither a shot or a cross. Just signals that the Knights are not completely out of this game. And second best for the last 10 minutes or so. That'll just keep the Heidelberg defence on their toes. They don't want to get complacent here. Game still is at nil nil after all. Here's Ellis now. Space in midfield for the Burgers. Here they come forward again. Ellis to Matsis. He's caused all sorts of problems. That's a ball across. No one there to meet it now. Olsen coming in late. Here's Bramwell dropping deep. And trying to set away Semi down the grandstand side. And the big puppy New Guinea will get there in time. Not much in the middle for him to aim to add. He might have to go himself. But as has been the case on a few occasions this evening, Ali has his number. Now he's turning defence into attack. Pin. Let's see Otis in midfield. Ladies, back towards Lysiotis. It's 24 on the 24th of April, so not far away from being a birthday boy, Anthony Lysiotis. Here come the Burgers. Into the area now. Danger here for the Knights. They haven't cleared. Odara's there. He gets boot to ball. Towards goal. Some last ditch defending there by Sewell, and eventually Oldfield is relieved to get his hands on the ball. Two other games in the MPL tonight. South Melbourne and Green Gully at Lakeside Stadium. That game kicked off at 7.32. And Oakley Cannons hosting Avondale in a blockbuster down at Jack Edwards Reserve. That game will be kicking off in about five minutes. So a triple header for you in the, M in the MPL this evening. And watch it all. Lucky you watch this game on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying the coverage so far here at Summer Street where it's nil-nil between the visiting Heidelberg and the home team, Melbourne Knights. Kate Lucas with you. And here's Olsen for the men in yellow. And certainly look the more likely. Adara. Now Lessie Otis pushing up very high here. Heidelberg. He's fed a hadjic. He's almost... Up towards the opposition's penalty area, the center defen central defender. Nick ladies can't beat the fullback, and it's out for a throw. Gets it over towards Wurndall. Two very experienced campaigners, those two. Here's Semi, who gets clattered into by Ali. Jamal Ali has left Tommy Semi sprawling on the floor. And what's Adam Babko going to do here? Is he reaching for his pocket? Semi still down. No play acting going here on here by the looks of things. It does look like there's going to be a, a yellow card. The physio's on. Have a look at the 
Melbourne Knights winger as well. can't see any card actually being produced the referee looked to have gone into his pocket and was writing something down but unless I've missed it there hasn't been a card we'll see that at half time either way it's a free kick to the Knights and that's a risky back pass there or back header by Feta Hadjic Bramwell almost snuck in goes out of play near the corner flag Feta Hadjic was very casual there is a Heidelberg throw. Jamal Ali, the man who clattered into Tommy Semi moments ago, now has the throw. Ellis. Be very old ping pong. Comes out the Knights way though. Bramwell, White. And the grandstand side, they can't quite make anything happen there though, Knights. Semi arrives though to win the ball back for them. He's recovered from that earlier knock. Now White getting a bit physical. That's a clear foul. Adam Bavkar right there. header met by Olsen and he shifts it out wide to, to Matsis gets it out from under his feet and then sends it swerving past goal it was always bending away from Leo Matsis but got around the defender Sewell just a little bit too easily there the Melbourne Knights were opened up a bit too easily from one end to the other in, in a flash there from the Burgers Bit of hedge. Strong header. Sackle, nice movement. And now he's away for the Knights, the Frenchman. He tries to open the door for Bramwell. Feta Hadjic is there to slam it closed, though. Let's see it out of play. Half an hour gone. Still goalless here at Summers Street. Fourth versus eighth. And Suckle now drifting in board and sending it all the way out towards Semi. Trying to drag the Burgers defence out of place. Semi cross back to the far post. That was a tricky one. Suckle got the header across and it's out for a corner. The first of the night to the home side. to take the cross from the near side can they make something happen here their first set piece and it skims over the pack semi will try and keep it in can't do so it comes to nothing there And a shot on the outside of the boot there from Hoare. It was inventive, but proved a bit ambitious in the end. I think it was 
Steve White in the end. My apologies who had that e audacious effort. In memory, only one shot on goal so far for the Knights. Not sure the Burgers have had too many more either for all their attacking. Certainly come closer, but as for actual shots on target, I don't know that there's been all that many. Dara now up across halfway and they've got numbers on the near side the Burgers Matsis has been close to best on so far in this game he's coming in board here he's having a shot that's a shot on target not a particularly challenging one though for a keeper of Chris Oldfield's experience but yeah Matsis is a player they've got to try and nullify somehow Knights is causing them real headaches down this near side flank. Wound towards Semi. It's a bit of a one man band up top for the Knights at the moment. Bramwell's dropping a bit deeper. here it's a throw again for Heidelberg that's Collins He's enjoying his trip back to Summer Street so far here's Idara now they're on the move again the visitors just over 10 minutes to go till half time here's Olsen Matsis Do well in close quarters though the Knights to get it away and just as I say that they give the ball back. Olsen, he's got Matsis down the channel again, he's away. He'll go into the six yard box, it's deflected clear by the Knights defence. But he is getting in behind almost at will Leo Matsis down this near side flank. Corey Saul's been giving a real uh, Real test so far this evening. Look, the ladies looks like his shoes have just come a bit loose. He's redoing up his laces under the supervision of the referee. will take the throw he and Mats is forming a really good partnership on the left hand side for the burgers not just tonight but really all this season he's also Lysiotis Collins ball back for Knights yeah, that was a pretty rugged old challenge there from Morton and that will be a yellow card he really got a piece of Idara who's still down clutching his ankle and he didn't, another yellow card's been given I think it might be going the Knights way to suckle he might have uh, might have had some, uh, some rather fruity French delivered towards the referee I'd imagine so he's gone in the book as is Jack Morton or is it just Morton either way there's a yellow card we'll 
again find out at half time. But as far as Jack Morton's concerned, that was uh, about as straightforward a booking as you could come across. Been a very good player for the Knights this season since coming into midfield. He's not had much of an influence so far this evening and maybe some of that frustration came out there in that challenge. Might be away here the Knights. It's Bramwell. And he's just clattered into by his former teammate in Collins. And he's lucky not to be copying a piece of cheese as well. Probably needed to be a bit stronger than that to go in the book, but it was a pretty crude shove in the back anyway. And he's given away a free kick against his former club. In pretty inviting territory. Haven't had many set pieces so far, the home side. They've got one here as we are inside the final six minutes of the half. Been on the back foot for much of the game so far. How they'd love to take the leader against the run of play. And go backwards to Morton, who's a mile out. He goes to the back post. Sewell was there, couldn't keep it in. channel and it finds Josh Pin trying to barge his way past Ivan Frangic. Just to go backwards here Pin. Now Ellis. Idara trying to get forward. White in front of him. Better Hadjic. Controls the bouncing ball well. Back to his keeper. Now back to Feta Hadjic. Testing period this for both teams with half time looming. About to cross 40 minutes. Do they shut up shop or do they try and sneak one before the break? It's often when things happen. Last five minutes before the break or five minutes afterwards. Fancy the Knights would be happier to go in at nil-nil given the way they've been outplayed for a lot of this first half. Still going on level terms. Get the opportunity for Ben Shuri to change things up a little bit. They could even go in in front if this movement comes off. Here's Sewell at the byline. Back to Suckle in the area for Knights. Great ball across. And they should be in front. Dear, oh dear. Kieran Bramwell picks himself up. He probably wishes the ground had opened up and swallow him after that. Terrific work by Suckle, the Frenchman. Wriggled his way clear and put it on a platter for Kieran Bramwell, who had the goal unguarded and somehow put it wide. slim pickings tonight for Kieran Bramwell as far as goal scoring chances go they don't come much better than that one he's let it slip will he get another win the ball back here again Knights nothing doing though as Ali goes down and he's still down and again Adam Babcar just happy to let play go answers to Nicolaitis Deflected ball into the area and Heidelberg hit the front, but only momentarily because the flag's up. 
That was a delightful finish by Josh Penn. He did what Kieran Bramwell couldn't do moments earlier at the other end. But unfortunately for he and the visitors, the flag is in the air. Meanwhile, Ali is still down. He's very slow to get up. Adam Babcar's there saying, get to your feet. I'm not, not giving a foul or a yellow card. I was saying the last five minutes or so before the half is often when things happen well that's one prediction I've gotten correct how much more have we got in store before the break stay with us on YouTube it's nil all between Melbourne Knights and Heidelberg United Olsen, former Brisbane Raw player, to Adara in the centre circle. Ellis, didn't quite control that, and it's Semi with a long ball forward, and Suckle is growing into the game. He gets there in time, driving into the area. He helped create a scoring opportunity earlier, and almost another there for Semi, but it was always going to be blocked. But they're rising to the occasion belatedly here, the Knights. Getting better as this half goes on. I said earlier they might be happy to go in at nil-nil. Well, they might be disappointed to have to go in because they seem to have just found their stride a little bit. Poor, just misplaced that pass. And it's out to Matsis, right below us. Better Hadjic. Fourth official. Looks like he's putting a number two on the board, so that's the stoppage time we've got before the half. Here's Collins. Former Knights supporters, no doubt, uh, sending him sending some lovely messages his way. And there's a throw for the Burgers here. We're into first half stoppage time. Been an entertaining game, a goalless one, but certainly not short of action. Pin. And some ball comes towards Collins. Towards Nicolaitis, he's got acres of room. He's got Matsis ahead. He says, Get on your bike, give me something. In the end, it comes undone. Been a good combo so far this evening, but not quite on the same wavelength. Nicolaitis and Matsis there. Here is Nicolaitis, and he's got a problem. He's got Sackle all over him. And the winds are free. that ball and keep it in and he's on a yellow card he's coming for Anthony Dizel in midfield Dizel probably provides a bit more control but Morton a bit more dynamism I wonder if Ben Shuri might go for the latter at half time well he'll have that choice to make now because it is half time here at Knight Stadium and we haven't seen any goals, but we've certainly seen plenty of entertainment between these famous old clubs, these old rivals. And both have had opportunities to hit the front. Both will be disappointed they haven't at least scored. And both have had guilt-edged opportunities to do so. Heidelberg thought they'd hit the front late in the half through Josh Pinn, but it was disallowed for offside. Moments earlier, Kieran Bramwell missed an absolute sitter with the goal unguarded, putting it wide. Heidelberg dominated possession and certainly with a better side, 
for the bulk of the half, but Knights have done enough to suggest that they are still very much in this game. Join us again in about 15 minutes for the second half. It's going to be a very entertaining affair, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if this goalless scoreline is changed quite soon after the break. Find out when we return on YouTube. It is Melbourne Knights nil, Heidelberg United nil.
side Melbourne Knights and the visitors Heidelberg United. Kate Lucas with you here on YouTube for the start of round nine in the MPL season for 2024. And this game is still very evenly poised between these two old rivals. Both sides had opportunities to go in front, particularly Heidelberg, who were the better side for the bulk of the first half. And they thought they had taken the lead late on with Josh Pinn with a close range finish, but he was offside moments earlier. An opportunity that definitely wasn't offside from Kieran Bramwell for the Knights was let slip when he missed from point blank range. So we're about to get back underway. No changes as I can see from the break. Kane Shepard missing for Heidelberg. That's the big selection news or big team news pre-game. You don't know the exact reason. I very much doubt he's been dropped since he scored a hat-trick last week against St Albans. But who knows? Maybe if they'd had him out there, they might have found a way to go in front Heidelberg in that first half. We'll see if the next 45 minutes can change things. We're back underway. Knights, of course, in the red with white shorts, blue socks going towards the left of your screen or the south, the car park end here at Knights Stadium. The Burgers, of course, in their traditional yellow with black shorts going towards the right or the scoreboard end. Booming clearance there by Oldfield. Straight up the middle night stadium. It seemed to hold up slightly in the breeze. It does look as though it's picked up slightly coming from the south during the break. So that could have a, an influence of sorts in this second half. He is white. And the Knights are in the area here. And that was a good ball across, but Sosa got his palms to it. Sackle again down the flank for Frenchman, who, a bit like his team, got better as the first half went on. Now a long ball straight down the middle, and Carrigan's got a problem here. He's got pin bearing down. Now Ellis coming in for the Burgers. Carrigan gets it away, only as far as Matsis though. Now Ellis. Both teams working hard to find a way through here. Here's Matsis on the turn. And that's well over the top. A pin at the back post. by Werndl. One of three ex Altona Magic players out there tonight for the Knights. Tommy Semi and Chris Oldfield, the others. As Heidelberg look to inch their way forward, here's Ellis. Idara. Idara again, they've committed plenty of numbers forward here, the Burgers. Two lookalikes, Ellis and Olsen, exchange passes. Now Matsis taking it to the byline. He couldn't quite wriggle his way past Suckle. And it's out of play.
mentioned earlier that the corresponding match between these two here last year resulted in a 5 nil win for Melbourne Knights over Heidelberg. And I was somewhat surprised to learn that, looking at the records, that that was just the second ever win for Knights over Heidelberg in the MPL. I said in my, uh, in my intro that these are two famous old clubs that have had many battles over the years. That's true, but certainly in MPL football, it has been very much the burgers who have had the better of it. That 5 0 thumping they copped here, notwithstanding. Heidelberg have won 13 of those 18 encounters in the MPL. They also won the most recent, the return fixture last season, which was a 3 2 win at the Olympic Village, one of the very last games that George Kasakis coached Heidelberg. He's still deep in defence. There's support in the form of Morton, who's on a yellow card. A scrappy start to the second half. Can they make something happen here, Knights? Long ball forward and Semi's trying to get onto it, and he does. And he might have wriggled his way past to Ali here. And as soon as I said that, Ali got back in front and got it back to the keeper. They've had a great battle, those two. Jamal Ali and Tommy Semi. Here's Wurndall. Now on the turn is Hoare. Sewell. Sewell kept running. This is a bit better from Knights. Sewell kept the cross in, but there was no one there to meet it. Very open game, end to end football between these two sides. It's the sort of game where you think a goal is almost an, an inevitability, but as we saw in the first half, it doesn't always turn out that way. Teams can just sort of huff and puff and end up punching themselves out. Claims of a foul in the crowd there and the grandstand on the fast on the opposite side. Adam Bavkar again happy to keep the whistle out of the mouth. Certainly has let the game flow tonight. It certainly is flowing at the moment, end to end stuff. Idara. Fedahadzic. Now Adara again. This is a bit better from the Burgers and they're in behind here. It's pinned. He's around the keeper. The touch is heavy. Oldfield has a chance to get back. Opportunity might have gone begging. Here's Nicolaitis to try and keep it going. Sewell is there to clear, and now Suckle, he just skips around Idara, and defence being turned into attack here for Melbourne Knights. Souza, cool under pressure, just caressed it towards a teammate there in Lesiotis, and opportunities for both teams slip by. Josh Pinn, who thought he'd scored the opener late in the half, Thought he was certainly going to score the opener there, but just his touch to get around Chris Oldfield was a bit heavy. He had a full head of steam up the big Queenslander, and that momentum led into the ball being knocked a bit far away. Game falling into a similar rhythm to the first half here as Heidelberg start to string the passes together. He's pinned again like a bull in a china shop. Gives away a foul. Right on the edge of the Knights box. Here's Hoare now. Almost falls over. Keeps his feet though. Mitch Hoare and he's still driving forward. And he finds Semi on the near side. Speaking of heavy touches. 
Do manage to keep control though, Knights, and they keep the move going. Can they make something happen here? Hoare, starting to get into the game a bit more, Mitch Hoare. Now Werndl, nobody home in the area. Comes back out towards White. Sewell thought for a moment about having a shot. And Sackle does have a shot, it's blocked. He and Sewell almost get in a tangle there. Now Semi, well he was a mole out there. Tommy Semi, the angle wasn't great for him either. But he might as well have had a ping. Didn't work out for him though. Better Hage just puts the laces through it. Straight down the middle of Knight Stadium. Here's Bramwell. Looking for Hoare. Right onto him though is Nicolaitis getting his body in the way. Concedes a throw deep in his defensive third. Knights. Looked as though Heidelberg were taking control again like they did in the first half. But Knights have wrenched it back a bit in the last minute or two. Can they make it count? They've had their moments in attack this evening. Not as many as the opposition, but they have been there. Heidelberg subs getting up to go for a walk. As Feta Hadjic at the back has some mopping up to do. John Anastasiadis not far away from summoning one of his substitutes to come in come into the game also a few night substitutes warming up we're getting up towards the hour mark it's often when coaches minds turn to the players sitting on the bench especially when the game is goalless as this one is semi cute little touch over to Hoare White. Move Peters out as Heidelberg get numbers around the ball and win it back and then give it away. And that ball's gone all the way down the tunnel almost towards the bar. Heidelberg not happy. They thought it came off a Knights player. The referee disagrees. It's a throw for the home side. Well, moving forward once again. It's got a bit of a spring in their step here, Knights. Here's Ali right below us. Adara. Lysiotis. They work it from sideline to sideline here. Nothing doing, though, and now it's Knights going a more direct route, and Fedahadjic has got problems. He had Bramwell coming in, and he sends it right over the top of his own goal for a corner. They're certainly a more direct team, Melbourne Knights, but on occasions they have been able to fluster Heidelberg, and that was one of those. Will it pay dividends? They win the first corner of the second half. Still nil-nil between 8th and 4th in MPL Victoria. Almost 58 minutes played. Kate Lucas with you on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. It's been an entertaining game, but one without goals. But for how much longer? White will take the cross. Substitutes from both teams are right around in there. Like spectators, he goes short. And that's controlled there by Sewell, the defender. Couldn't quite get boot to ball though, and the Burgers will try and catch the home side on the break. They can't do so. Here's Werndl. 
Down the near side. Towards Semi, who's got some room. Again, not much in the area for him to aim at. He sends it across anyway, and he almost finds the opener. Coming in like a flash there, I think it was Bramwell. I said there was no one there in the area to meet it, and there wasn't. Then suddenly Bramwell appeared out of thin air. And at least this time he did get it on target. Yaron Sosa got the save in, but Kieran Bramwell's had a couple of very close opportunities tonight. On another occasion, he might have already had a brace. Has sent the ball into Mitch Hawes uh, midships. Don't think that needs any more explanation. He's got a soldier on though. Lessie Otis, Nicolaitis. Work it out of a phone booth there. Heidelberger now into the open spaces, and it's Ellis. He's in the area now, the Scotsman. He goes himself, but it's all red jerseys ahead of him. And that ricochet is back out of play. An hour play, it's still nil nil between Melbourne Knights and Heidelberg United. Kate Lucas with you on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Here come the Burgers. Can they open the scoring? Olsen, you bet they can open it. Oh, that's emphatic. Nicholas Olsen leaves Knights defenders sprawling on the turf with a thumping finish. And right on the hour mark, the visitors take the lead here. And how? It's Heidelberg United in front at Summer Street. Well, he's near enough the replacement for Kane Shepherd, the hat-trick hero from last week who hasn't made the starting lineup tonight, who must be an injury. So Olsen, who often plays out wide, has started up top. And that was a consummate finish that any striker would be happy with. Coming in late, and then on the left boot, low, flat and hard. And Chris Oldfield didn't know much about it. So the Burgers lead. Half an hour still to play at Summers Street. Melbourne Knights still have plenty of time to rectify things. And they will fancy themselves a chance of getting back into this game. They've certainly had opportunities. And I'll be disappointed with that one though. They've probably been the better side since the half time break. And they break now through Hoare. And that is well over hit by Mitch Hoare. Dara Collins almost a sloppy giveaway but White couldn't quite control it and here's Olsen the goal scorer pin and they've stretched the nice defence again here and it's the dangerous Matsis in the area could they double their money Matsis his shots deflected pin there trying to control it Frangic the veteran under pressure got it over his head but the danger isn't clear Suddenly, the Burgers can sniff a, blood, a bit of blood in the water. They want to finish this one off. Second goal now. Just might do that. That cross in is just over the head of Pin. He 
Here comes Sackle. Got a bit of toe, the Frenchman. Sends it out towards Bramwell, and he's got some speed too. So too is Nicolades with a good sliding challenge. Certainly no daylight savings has arrived. The temperature's dropped a fair bit too. There's a few people in puffer jackets and coats here this evening. It's one of those nights tells you winter is uh, certainly on its way, but certainly very energetic football by both teams out there so far. And that goal, if anything, has probably injected a bit more urgency into both teams as Matsis just can't control that ball it's out of play he was probably the best player on the pitch in the first half leo matzis not quite so since the break carrigan semi looking for sackle down the flank but didn't really get near him got that goal they sort of had the luxury of being able to hit knights on the break knowing they'll come forward Heidelberger look to pick them off here knights have got numbers back though ellis oh that's a nice ball ali's come forward and wins a corner the defender first heidelberg corner of the second half Plenty of tall timber going up there. Feta Hadjic, Pin, Ali, who won the corner. Also Collins. Pretty much everyone bar Yaron Sosa has come up. Here is the corner. Pin thought he was going to get on the end of it. Just deflected away from him. Matsis will try and send it back in from the other side. Twisting, turning. Carrigan does well though for Knights here come Heidelberg again though it's Idara to the byline that's a great ball across it's on the roof of the net it's in the net the flag is up second goal disallowed this evening for Heidelberg it was one of those tricky ones I thought it went onto the roof of the net to start with and then next thing you know Heidelberg players are celebrating but as soon as they started celebrating, the linesman on the near side cut those celebrations short, putting the flag in the air. Fair to say, the Heidelberg players are not too pleased about it. Sean Ellis looks incensed. There's no VAR in the MPL, so it's not going to count. And what probably would have finished off proceedings and instead left the door ajar. Sean Ellis is going chapter and verse with the linesman. I'm not sure why. He's not going to change his decision now. Meanwhile, the first substitutions of the game have been made. And unsurprisingly, Ben Shrury is the man making them with his team trailing. It's Thomas Werndl who's coming off the defender. And also Jack Morton. So Morton off and Werndl off. And coming on Anthony Duzel. So Duzel on for Morton. And it looks as though the other Frangic, Joseph Frangic, has come on. So, two midfielders on, a defender and a midfielder for uh, Melbourne Knights. With just over 20 minutes to go. Adam Bavkar was right there as that rugged challenge came in. And that's another yellow card. Leo Matsis goes into the book. White who is 
getting up a bit gingerly. He coughed one on the shins in the early seconds of the game, Steve White. So, we'll have some, some nice old bruises on his shins tomorrow morning. Semi. Prangic, his first touch, goes to his brother, unsurprisingly. Duzil, the other substitute getting involved, but they've turned it over and it could cost them as the burgers are in the area. Ellis to the back post. Joseph Frangic with the header. Straight back to Ellis though. Now Ali. Ellis to the byline. And the Knights get away with it. And then down. Now they look to go on the break. Suckle. Nicolaitis. Having none of that. Sending it straight out of play. In front of the Heidelberg supporters there who are getting increasingly vocal. Olsen, the goal scorer. Duzel has just come on the field. Out wrestled in there. Feta Hadjic will take the free kick. 20 minutes to go. Knights nil, Heidelberg one. Heidelberg currently fourth on 16 points. They have not lost so far this season. And that record looks as though it might continue here tonight. Ball into the box there. They can't add to their... Score line at the moment though, but they do win a free kick here. Probably right on the edge of scoring range. And now there's a debate between the burgers as to who will take this. Meanwhile, more changes. And this one is a pretty obvious one from the Knights' point of view. Gian Urbano is coming on. They need a goal. So you might as well bring on the guy who scored more goals than anyone else last season. He comes on. Tommy Semi comes off. He's put in a good shift again tonight. Tommy Semi, as he always does. I never question his effort. It just didn't quite happen for him in terms of end product this evening. Free kick for Heidelberg. Ellis takes it. And that ricochet is out of play and they'll get another set piece, a corner. momentarily go second Heidelberg if they win this depending on results elsewhere as the cross comes in headed away by the Knights defenders are all back in numbers but here come the Burgers again looking to put this game to bed Ellis nobody home with that ball Frangic happy to see it out of play and a bit of breathing space for Melbourne Knights. Yes, Heidelberg will go to 19 points. They'll jump up ahead of Hume City. Avondale and South Melbourne, who are also in the top three. They're both playing tonight, so could depend on what happens there. But at this point, they're going to 19 points, Heidelberg. Very much in the title race pretty remarkable give, given where they came from last season. John Anastasiadis always looked like a great appointment and it's proving to be probably even better than anyone expected to this point. And here come the Knights looking to sully things for Heidelberg. It's Hoare. Ball bounces up into the air and Feta Hadji just clears the danger. Straight through the middle. But the home side have got it back. They're not done with yet. Frangic 
Suckle. Intervention there by Nicolaiti. Sees it out of play. Next week, Heidelberg back at the Olympic Village and they take on Moreland City. So they'd fancy their chances of another win there. Though they have been improving Moreland. Melbourne Knights, regardless of the result here, they would also fancy their chances of getting back on the winners list. They go down to Paisley Park to take on Altona, who have been really struggling. But that's next week. This game is still very much up for grabs. Knights have done enough tonight to think themselves still very much in this. They've had opportunities. It'll be tough for them though if Heidelberg score again here. Frangic, Joseph got in the way though. And the attempted cross by Pin. Just over 15 minutes to go. Knights have want to get a wriggle on if they are going to get something out of this game. Here's Albano who's just come on. Hadjic, but he's a big old central defender. He won't care about that too much. His team's in front and they're keeping a clean sheet. That's what will matter to him. on those other games. South Melbourne they're continuing on their merry way. They currently lead Green Gully 3-0. About 70 minutes gone in that game too and Avondale lead Oakley 2-1. That's just early in the second half. So Avondale will be going second not Heidelberg. Going by a live ladder and here's the Knights coming forward. Hotelberg going second, assumes they go on and win this game. Knights could change that. Here is a shot from Albano. Has Sosa sprawling at his near post and conceding a corner. Well, that's the sort of stuff that Ben Shrury was thinking of when he brought Gianna Albano on those quick feet. And that was a real stinging shot. Not much of a back lift and he really got some power behind it. Always tough at the near post though, but he's manufactured a corner. Can they make something of it? Knights to the back post. Up they go. This claims of a handball. And now a flying shot by Sackle, the Frenchman. It's well over the top. Still a bit of remonstrating over the call to not give a handball there. Again, Adam Bavkar. Messing about with his decisions, he's pretty definitive. And he was very quick to wave away claims of a penalty there. And with that, John Anastasiadis has gone to the subs bench. The goal scorer, Olsen, is off. On comes Dominic Fowler. And Adrian Zara, the skipper, who has been coming off the bench pretty much all season, even though he still is the club captain. He's out there now for the last 12 or so minutes, trying to see his team home. So 
Zara, his first touch, the veteran. 33 now, Adrian Zara. And here he is. Hotterberg looking for a knockout punch. It surely would be a winner if they can get a second goal now. Here's Ellis. Back towards Idara. Trying to wriggle his way into the area. Didn't quite come off for him. Here's Ellis now. He'd love a goal. Now it's Ali, the defender. He's gone forward. It's off the woodwork. And now following up Fowler. And he's missed that by more than he was out from goal. That slid way off the side of the boot there from Fowler, the Englishman. Jamal Ali comes back to the halfway line, ruining a rare opportunity to score a goal. He's only a lick of paint away from being 2 0. So Ali beats him to it. And he grabs at his hamstring too, Ali. That might be he's not done. He's still in his haunches as play goes on. Ellis, Adara. Fala. Here's Ali. He's still able to get that pass away. He's not coming off. He's not too, moving too well though either. He's right below us here. Heidelberg string the passes together once more, trying to take the sting out of this game. Really making Knights chase some tail. As we cross the 80 minute mark. Here's Collins. And that's well over the top of Ali who can't stretch for balls like that with a dodgy hamstring. dispossessed by his fellow number 10 Albano who lost it but Hall was there in support and then Hall's ball goes to no one in particular it's been a worry for them all night really nights they haven't really had that outlet in the middle saw that quite often with Tommy Semi he get free down the flank and then send the cross or the ball into the area and there would be no one to meet it Kieran Bramwell would often arrive and did on a couple of occasions but he's was often dropping quite deep here's joseph frangic on the last line of defense carrigan albano now towards Bramwell. Albano's kept running in the middle. And it comes to him, Gian Albano. Collins was there, though, to nip the ball away from his former teammate. He'd be pretty happy with the way things have gone, returning to his old club. He's pinned now. Off towards Ellis, who's really reveled being back in the starting lineup tonight. That's a delightful ball over the top to pin. They can finish it now. Pin to the back post. Matsis was there, but the ball just didn't quite reach him. He does ever so well to try and keep it in, Leo Matsis. It was all in vain in the end as the ball did go out. And Knights bring it away. Here's Albano right below us. Can't quite get by Ali, though. If he could, it really opened up for him. But Ali did well. He's paying the price for it. He, he's limping around. Like he's been shot at the moment. Jamal Ali might have to come off very soon. As Knights come forward. Ali's a defender is still behind play. Here's Albano, his opponent. They do 
get numbers back in time though Heidelberg and now a yellow card for Gian Albano he's been very energetic since coming on but it was just a bit too energetic on that occasion Heidelberg player has gone down is Lissy Otis he's back up and going now Anthony Lissy Otis The Burgers inch towards their fifth win of the season. Four wins, four draws, and no losses coming into this game. Brandic sees it out of play. Zell. Suckle, he's been good tonight. He's still got some pace in those legs, the Frenchman, as he bustles his way forward. He's beaten about three Heidelberg players. Still he's going. And the shot deflects off Feta Hadjic, and it's out for a corner. Well, that really would have been some goal from Saifedin Suckle. Was deflected away. It was a great run. And it may yet still pay dividends from this corner. Have they got an equaliser in them, Knights? We've crossed 85 minutes. That's a shocking corner. It spills up in the air. It's still in dispute. And now there's more claims of a handball. And a bit of consternation. But it looks at the end of all that it's going to be a Heidelberg goal kick. Yaron Sosa is not very happy about something. And he gets a yellow card from Adam Bavkar. So Temper's getting a bit frayed out there as this game comes to an end. Sean Ellis is slow to get up. He's got a bit of cramp. And just got a bit of a delay here. I'm not exactly what, sure what for. The yellow card's been given. Ellis is going to be substituted. The physios aren't coming for him. He's going to come off. He's had a terrific game, Sean Ellis. But he's off. And he gets a warm round of applause too. Ian Ashton comes into the Frey for Heidelberg, another player who was a long-time starter for the club, who's become more of a sub this season. Sign of real strength and depth for Heidelberg. Another change now for Knights with Steve White coming off. And John McGock coming on. So both coaches bringing the changes as we come towards the end of the 90 minutes. Sosa. Pin flicks it on. Carrigan. Zell over towards Hoare and that's a good ball forward Bramwell's there forces a good save out of Sosa they're not done the Knights they're going to make Heidelberg work for this
Souza with a booming kick right down the middle of Knight Stadium. Route one stuff. Doesn't quite come off for them on that occasion. Mats just goes to the floor. A little tail of two halves for him, Leo Matsis, who was terrific in the first 45. Not so much after the break. As Ali is somehow still out there. Four. Giselle. Four again. Speaking of game of two halves, he was anonymous in the first half, but been very good in the second. And he's won a free kick for his side now. Last 30 seconds of the 90. Have they got a late goal in them here? Knights, a late equaliser. It's Suckle, who's been one of their best tonight. Twisting and turning. Still he's going, the Frenchman. Ball into the area, headed across by Hoare. Albano will keep it in. Suddenly they're looking shaky at the back, Heidelberg. Ashton there. They ease the danger, but only momentarily. The Knights coming on strong. Ball bouncing around in the area. And now it's Carrigan. Oh, he just rove around the ball. And the opportunity goes begging. And they could yet get punished on the break as Heidelberg have it through pin. And he just eats up an important few seconds. Oh, that's a sloppy clearance by Souza. And he could be made pay here. Eventually he gets his boot to it, the Heidelberg keeper. He has had a couple of hard in mouth moments this evening. Fortunately for him and his team, they have gotten over 90 minutes. One goal in front. Only stoppage time to go now. Souza. Puts his hands around it. More changes being made now by John Anastasiadis. It looks like it will be. Astapostolopoulos, my favourite name coming on. I'm not sure who the other substitute is as the ball is deep in the area here. And it goes all the way back to Chris Oldfield, who throws it away quickly. Game becoming very stretched now as the Knights try and pull this one out of the fire. Here's Carrigan. Bock, his first touch since coming on. Will it be a telling one? The cross comes in at the near post. It's Sewell. And he took a swing and missed. And the flag was up in any case. So double change again for Heidelberg. That should be their five changes done. Anthony Theodoropoulos coming on and Johnny Apostopoulos also coming on Apostopoulos with the uh, long flowing hair it's pretty hard to miss Theodoropoulos also on the field Odara has made way for him didn't quite catch who the other player who came off was. I think it might have been, no, it's not Jamal Ali. He's still out there. Despite limping around. With a hamstring that looks like it's about to fall off. He's soldiering on though. Not too long to go now. We're deep into stoppage time catch exactly how much there is but there's enough time for Knights they only need one goal to get a piece of this game to get a share of the points and here's Sackle driving forward they want to foul the Knights fans they won't get one horse sends the ball into the area hacked away last chance saloon stuff now for the home side Sewell Carrigan, they're all up. Frangic. Out to his brother. 
who look to send the ball into the mixer. The crowd rises. Frangis slips over. And it still comes towards Hoare, who's suddenly everywhere. His yellow shirt's all in front of him. Every Heidelberg player deep in defence. Knights throwing everything at them now. But Heidelberg have got the ball back and they could hurt them on the break and finish things off. End-to-end -end stuff here as this game comes to a climax at Summer Street. Kate Lucas with you on YouTube. It's been a great game to bring to you. Stay with us right to the final whistle as Collins against his old club just nods a header away. Yeah, Ashton. And Dominic Fowler sends it all the way back. Sent it forward, actually, but Chris Oldfield came out to meet it. Duzel, long ball forward. Nothing doing there, though. They might have run out of ideas here, Knights. Now they've got defending to do its pin. Carrigan right with him. Last-ditch stuff. Oldfield knocks it away. And that might just about be that for Melbourne Knights as Sewell couldn't keep that attempt in play. And Adam Bavkar blows the whistle. And Heidelberg have once again proven too good for Melbourne Knights. They're their nemesis in the NPL. They worked hard tonight, Knights. They had their opportunities. But it's a professional performance again from a team who week by week are framing as one of the real title challenges in the NPL this season. John Anastasiadis has completely changed Heidelberg United and they are still undefeated through nine weeks of the season. It wasn't an easy game, but they did take the lead through Nicholas Olsen early in the second half with a thumping finish from the edge of the area. The ball was bouncing around and he ran onto it and rammed it home past Chris Oldfield in the Knights' goal. Knights flickered at times. Bramwell went close on a couple of occasions. One late in the first half really should have gone in whilst Heidelberg scored two goals that were disallowed for offside. So handshakes at the end, backslaps, lots of old mates meeting up. These are two famous old clubs and they've put on a very entertaining game for us tonight here at Knight Stadium on YouTube. Kate Lux is my name. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope you've enjoyed watching the final score here at Knight Stadium. It's finished Melbourne Knights nil, Heidelberg United 1.